wild hormonal teenage boy approaches the calm environment of a random cafe, ignorant to the fact he will have an existential crisis within the next 10 seconds. Enjoy. Whoa, the old man who's sitting on that chair over there kind of looks like what I always thought I look like in the future. Just without the hair. Damn, I wonder if I'll actually look like that sometime in the future. I like my hair. Nope, he just looked at me. Definitely looks straight at me. What if he really is me from the future? What if he looked at me directly at that very moment because he knew I'd be having that exact thought back then? Because he had that exact thought back then. What if he's here to send me a coded message so that I avoid making the biggest mistake of my life? Or so that I can prepare for and defend myself from something horrible about to happen? Or maybe so that I can save the entire universe and the concept of time by ending an otherwise infinite loop that only I can put an end to. For if I don't, the loop will continue to stretch out for eternity from both the past and the future. But would I really go back in time and risk everything just because of a slight hope for something impossible? Or is this a test to see if I'm smart enough not to be dependent on the concept of fate and a decided future? Or maybe it's a test to see if I'm smart enough to actually listen to me who's wiser than a now me in every possible way. That is if I don't fall over and hit my head too hard on a rock in the future or something. Oh shit, he just smiled at me. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Was that a coincidence? Will he be staring now if I look back at his direction? Alright then, future me. If this is how you didn't exactly want things to play out in your near past and the distant future of my present of the now, then I'll just go along with it. If I look in your direction within the next 10 seconds and you're looking directly towards me, then you are definitely me from the future. And he's not looking at me? Maybe I confused the timing or something? No, so now you decide to stare right at my face. I see how it is, you big bald bastard. You're just messing with me. I'm just messing with me. No, I would never do this to myself on purpose. There must be a greater force controlling me. What force can that be? The force of will? The force of time? Of infinity? I'm only doing this to myself because it's exactly what happened when I was young. When when I was, well, me. When the future me was the me of the... Fuck, you get what I mean? Wait, what the hell am I even talking to? I don't usually narrate things in my own head. I just think silently within, within my own mind. Not silent as in not speaking out loud, but silent as in without the narrator voice thing, you know? Wait, why did I just feel the need to try and explain something to myself? I know what I mean, but I just call myself you. You. You? You was in the future me? You was in... You? Oh shit, the old man's not there anymore. What dimension did he disappear himself off to? Damn it. Now I'll never know if he was truly the me of the future, just some random bald guy who for some reason goes to a cafe to sit around and not really do anything. Now that I think about it, it sounds like that man just doesn't have a life. Then again, neither do I, since I'm also doing the exact same thing right now. Well, only time will tell, I guess. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna go shopping for some protective hair cream or something. The wild hormonal teenage boy upon a his existential crisis walks away ignorant to the fact he will fall over and hit his head too hard on a rock or something in the next 10 seconds. Hope you enjoyed.